Our top story tonight is about a toy drive, but we do want to warn viewers that we will mention suicide. An Odessa mother is turning her grief into something brighter this holiday season. Carolyn Lujan is starting a toy drive called Jack's Gifts at Christmas Memorial. It's in memory of her son, Jackie Whitten, who she lost to suicide. CBS 7's Hannah Brock met with Lujan about the toy drive and her son's legacy. She joins us now with more. Hannah? Yeah, this week marks the one-year anniversary since Lujan lost her 17-year-old son, Jackie. She wanted to be sure that anniversary was used to help people just like her son would have wanted. But he was, he was a good one. Um, never met, like I said, he never met a stranger. That kindness is what brought a crowd of family, friends, and teachers out to honor Jackie one year ago as his family took him to the operating room for organ donation. They signed and raised a flag to pay tribute to him at University Medical Center Hospital. If he seen somebody in need, it didn't matter if he knew him or not, he would go and try to help him out. And whether he knew how to do it or not, he still would try. Even if he faced his own mental health challenges, Jackie always wanted to give. And to be able to help other people and help other kids, uh, I feel like Jack would have loved to have done that. The toys will be given to kids at Midland Memorial Hospital or Home Hospice. I would love to have it as a, a bright spot instead of a, a dark area and that uh, we can bring awareness to suicide and um, that there, there is a need for help. Toys can be donated at Home Hospice in Odessa or through an Amazon registry we have posted at CBS7.com. Perhaps most of all, Lujan hopes that the message behind the toy drive will reach someone in need. And if this can help somebody, anybody that's thinking about it, uh, just get help. Just call somebody, your pastor, your friends. Lujan also encourages anyone in need to call the National Suicide Hotline at 988 and those grieving this holiday season to attend free counseling offered by Home Hospice. The final day to donate toys is December 20th, and Lujan and other Midland Memorial staff will deliver the toys to kids on Christmas week. For CBS 7 Verse Alert News, I'm Hannah Brock. A